welcome to another video today we are diving back into the cd collection and we are spotlighting the band rilo kylie uh rilo kylie started i guess like the early 2000s um put out a few records and then called it a day i guess officially 2014 although you know they had kind of parted ways years before that um their indie rock band um i think mainly based in california but i think they kind of went to there was this kind of scene in omaha nebraska home of our friend hannah the in, uh, omaha introvert um but there was like this scene of a lot of these bands um recording and playing in omaha and i think they kind of were out there i think maybe they partly there was a label saddle creek maybe they were based there i don't i don't know uh but uh, the, the whole history of that. But I know that they kind of were in that. But the band is really like a California band. Um, the two main people, the song, main songwriters, everything, Blake Sennett and Jenny Lewis, who I believe both were like child actors. I know Jenny Lewis was. I'm pretty sure Blake Sennett was. Um, but yeah, really good band. My first introduction to the band, I first heard them with their album, More Adventurous. This came out in 2004. Um, and I remember hearing uh, the song, It's a Hit, um, on a college rock radio station, a local college rock radio station. And I really liked it and probably went home, you know, this was 2004 or whatever. So I must've went home. I didn't have Shazam or anything like that. So I just remembered the lyrics and maybe did like an internet search and, uh, discovered the band. This one comes in a little slip case, which I feel like this maybe was added um, after the record came out because it has like uh, spotlights a couple of songs and there's a few little critic reviews on the back here from Time, Rolling Stone, and Mojo Magazine. But I really love that song. It's a hit and seeked out this album right away and really really uh i love this record it's one of my favorites not just by rilo kylie but this is like up there with one of my favorites of all time um just really catchy songs really uh really interesting lyrics you know very kind of story teller kind of lyrics um and hey there they all are <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I really like this, uh, this album. I really like this band. And uh, this after getting this record and liking it so much, um, then I instantly went out and sought out, you know, their previous records. Uh, but on this record, you have Does He Love You, Portions for Foxes, which I believe was released as a single, Ripcord, Absence of God, Accidental Death, a man, me, then Jim's really good. It just is. Yeah, this is a, a great record. If you're not familiar with Rilo Kylie, um, I would say maybe pick this one up and start here. I, I I really think this is a good place to start. Gives you a good idea of you know what you're getting into. But uh, yeah, awesome record. So like I mentioned, I picked that one up, liked it a lot, and went back to pick up their previous records, starting with their first album from 2001. This is Takeoffs and Landings. Got the back cover there, all these little diagrams on a plane. Um, oops, don't want the CD to fall out. There you go. But uh, yeah, another great record. I, actually, you know what? I take that back. I think when I got more adventurous and really liked that, and then I maybe dug around, this is 2004, so it's around the time when people are down, illegally downloading stuff. And I, I do remember doing a search for them and getting a whole bunch of random tracks. I didn't get like a full album here or there or whatever. I just got a bunch of different random tracks and I guess sampled those and really liked them and then decided, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up these other albums. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. But, uh, but yeah, this, you know, these first three, albums by them um all three of them are really really good like i said maybe i would recommend you starting with uh more adventurous but really any one of these first three records i would 
uh, I, I don't think you could go wrong with them. But yeah, another great record on here. Go Ahead, Science vs. Romance, August, Wires and Waves, and Always is another one. But yeah, just a really great, great record. Followed by another really, really great record. One year later, 2002, we get The Execution of All Things. Um, oops. Oh, so this is a little like homemade CD I made because they initially put out like an EP called The Initial Friend. And uh, it's available on vinyl. It's available on CD, but the CD is very hard to find. The CD has never been reissued. It was pretty limited to how many were uh, released originally. So it's, if you find it for sale, it's always very expensive. So I just kind of, I must have, that's must have been when I downloaded some of these tracks and I just burned them on this CD. I have good stuff on there. But anyways, back to the execution of all things. Again, another great, great uh, album. You know, again, I mentioned earlier, just the songwriting is really top notch uh, on these first three re records, especially. Um, you know, just some really interesting lyrics and everything. I, I really like it. Oh, something falling out there. Um, now you got all the lyrics. And, and this was like, oh, so here's, I was mentioned Saddle Creek. Here's their little catalog stuffed in here. You gotta order some other records and some t-shirts. I think, I think it was like Bright Eyes which was, I think, Connor Opes, or Orps, or however you pronounce his name, uh, his band. I think it all like kind of revolved around that and everything. I don't know if Saddle Creek was his label or not, but I do remember uh, that. There was like a compilation that, on that initial Friends CD that I burned, uh, there was a compilation that uh, uh, that Rilo Cowie contributed a song to. I think it's called like Jenny, You're All Right, or Jenny, You're Okay, something like that. Uh, but some of the tracks on here are really good. The Good That Won't Come Out, Paint Peeling, The Execution of All Things, Better Son and Daughter, My Slumbering Heart, Spectacular Views. And one of my favorite songs by them is on here called With Arms Outstretched. I really love that song. But uh, yeah, again, these first three records, perfect, all of them. So after More Adventurous, that was distributed by like their own little indie label, plus it was distributed by Warner Brothers. Then their follow-up to that in 2007, we get on Warner Brothers Records under the black light. And I remember when this came out, it's kind of cool. It's like this purpley kind of jewel case here. Um, but I remember when this came out, it kind of felt a little bit like the band was kind of on their last legs. I went and saw them twice live in New York in 2007 at Webster Hall and in 2008 at Terminal 5. Really good live shows. But it felt a little bit like the band was kind of, you know, coming to the end of their career. I mean, there was, I don't know, I can't even, I don't know exactly what, what I'm referring to, but there was just this kind of vibe. Like I think Jenny Lewis had kind of done some solo stuff and I don't know, just kind of felt like uh, maybe the band would cease to be. And this is actually their final studio record. So my instincts were right. <laughs> I knew it. I told you, everybody. But uh, yeah, this one's a, a good record as well. A little more kind of electronic vibes kind of coming in. Not, not so much electronica, but just kind of like a little more poppy kind of dancey kind of vibes on some of these songs um but it was it's a pretty good record i remember liking it but it, again it didn't it didn't stand up to those first three in my opinion um on here silver lining close call the money maker was good under the black light the title track's really good give a little love was another one that was really good but yeah good record i like this so they put out that record they tore for like a year or whatever and then you know, she's doing a couple of solo things, what have you. And then I guess eventually people assume the band's kind of over. And then eventually they kind of make it official in like 2014. Um, then they put out this compilation called Archives uh, with just kind of leftover tracks 
and unreleased stuff and some, I think some demos and some remixes and stuff like that. It's in a jewel. Here's the CD, a little opossum on it. And the booklet. But I just picked this up maybe pretty recently. Uh, I, I didn't pick it up when it first came out for whatever reason. Um, hold off, hold out, held out on picking it up. Uh, and then like, I guess maybe two years ago, this uh, record store around here, Vintage Vinyl was closing down. I went there and they were having all these crazy sales and they had this there and I picked it up and probably got it for like 50% 50, 50 off. It was brand new. So I, you know, got a good deal on it, but finally decided to, oh yeah, I got to pick that up. Um, and it's good. I like it. Some of the tracks I was already familiar with. Um, but you know, it, it, being a big fan of this band, it seemed kind of silly not to have this record. Some of the tracks on here, it'll get you there running around, dragging around. And then, uh, this song called the Frug, which I have, I think on that initial friend CD that I burned. Um, it's kind of a goofy song. It's kind of fun. There's a, uh, maybe I'll put a link below. There's a funny uh, video on YouTube of them playing it live later in their career. Um, cause I think it was something they recorded really early on. It might've been in a, in a movie or something. Uh, but it later on they're at some place and somebody requested them to play it. And Jenny Lewis was kind of like, you guys are going to have to help me with the lyrics. Like, you know, it, it almost had a vibe, a little bit of a vibe of like a novelty song, I guess for them. But um, it's a really good video watching them pr play it live, you know, and kind of remembering and get into it. And it's, and it's a crowd pleaser for sure, but that's a really good tune, The Frug. But yeah, that's Archives. So that's it for Rilo Kiley. Uh, like I mentioned a few times, Jenny Lewis had released a bunch of solo stuff. Um, I have just a few I thought I'd throw into this video. This one, I think, was 2006. Uh, she did this album, Rabbit Fur Coat, with the Watson Twins. Uh, kind of a bit of a country vibe to this one. Um, there's a ticket stub. I saw her live in Ithaca at the State Theater in 2014, uh, which was really good. I think she was promoting an album she put out called The Voyager, which was good, which I don't own, but I should probably pick up. But yeah, there's a bit of a country vibe to this one. I don't know if that's the influence of the Watson twins or if that's just where she was at at the moment. Um, they do a, a pretty good cover of Handle with Care by the uh, Traveling Wilburys, which is kind of fun. There's a couple other tunes on here that I like. Rise Up with Fists and You Are What You Love is a really good one, which I wonder if I heard that first and that's what made me decide to pick up this record because that one's really familiar when I was re-listening to this recently but yeah it's a good one and then the other, other thing I have she did this record I guess her boyfriend at the time Jonathan Rice they put out two records under the moniker of Jenny and Johnny this I think was the first one 2010 um and this is called uh I'm having fun now I hope you are. Uh, and uh, this is a really good record. I like this a lot. Uh, I remember first hearing this single, uh, Scissor Runner, and really like that. And then somewhere down the line, picked up the CD. There it is. All its plastic glory. Um, but yeah, this is a really good record. There's no booklet. It's just one of those kinds of digi packs. Um, but yeah, I... I I've had this for a little while and I only just recently getting ready for this video decided to like pop it in because I hadn't heard it in a while. And uh, yeah, just really, really like this record. Um, some of the other tracks on here I like are My Pet Snakes, Big Wave, Just Like Zeus, Straight Edge of the Blade, and Committed is another one that's really good. But yeah, I really like this record. Like I think I said, they put out one more record and I don't know, maybe they split up and that was the end of that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the whole collection here. If I could grab them real quick. Um, oops. But yeah, let me know if you uh, like this band, if you're familiar with them, what you think of them, what your favorite record is, all that fun stuff. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you another time. Later, y'all.